picnics in the park, kids in the car, Sunday's family day, get away. We're family, togetherness, and it's so good to know that we still count on us. Oh, 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 oh. We're family, we're made up of the lasting kind, so hard to find. We got us when saying is the allowances we're getting do not realistically reflect the cost of living and you were worried when he couldn't tell the difference between nickels and quarters exactly what is it that you need that your allowance doesn't cover i don't know mom lots of stuff for example makeup well you're beautiful just the way you are so you don't need it neither do you <laughs> okay how about dates i mean as it is i can barely afford to take out a girl every other week you'll live longer trust me <laughs> I don't know, Charlie. Maybe we could consider a slight increase. Nothing doing. When I was their age and I wanted money for something, I had to go out and earn it. Did I ever tell you about the time I delivered newspapers in the snow to pay for a bicycle? Yes. yes. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I walked 10 miles in the rain to return a book? Dad, we've heard it, read the book, seen the movie. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Calm down, Rachel. What is wrong? I've been robbed. My apartment's been robbed. What? Were you hurt? No, but every time I think about it, I feel like my heart's gonna stop. Then don't think about it. Come on, sit down, Rachel. I left my apartment for about an hour, and when I got back, it was in shambles. Well, what'd they get away with? They took my clock radio, they took my portable TV, and they took my fur coat. Oh, oh don't worry, Rachel. We'll skin another bear for you. <laughs> I'll bet he picked the lock. No. He kicked the door in. No. I know. He plastic explosive to blow out the handle. Not exactly. Well, then how did he get in? Well, I guess I kind of left the bedroom window open. Then I guess you kind of asked for it. That's right. Ridicule me, a poor defenseless woman who was practically murdered. Come on, Rachel. You were robbed and we're sorry. But there's no way you can say you were practically murdered. Well, I could have been. You know the lady upstairs over me? She was robbed outside of her front door at gunpoint. Really? Oh, if I'd have been home, the robber would have murdered me. Oh, no, he wouldn't have. That's two separate unions. <laughs> <laughs> Diana, I don't think I could stay there alone. Well, of course not. You'll stay right here with us. Yeah. If we had room. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't. <laughs> Why don't you get a couple of beds down at the Y? <laughs> Rachel, we insist, and you can sleep with me. Well, I don't want to cause any trouble. It's okay. Well, this will be the first time. <laughs> Diane, I'll never forget you for this. I'm not going to let you. <laughs> you know, it's not just the things that were stolen. My insurance company will replace most of that. Except, of course, for my Nicholas Brothers sugar and creamer. <laughs> Well, it was one of a kind. The thing I can't stand is somebody was in my home, going through my things, even my underwear drawer. I know it must have been frightening, Rachel, but I think Charlie was right. The best thing to do is just throw it out of your mind. I can't. You know what that policeman said to me? What? He said, everybody in this city is going to be robbed at least once. Well, look at it like this. You've gotten yours out of the way. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Good night, precious. <sighs> Diana? <laughs> yes? You've never been robbed. <laughs> so? 
So you're due. I'd say you're overdue. Did you lock the front door? Charlie did. Are you sure? Maybe you ought to go check it. I'm sure Charlie did. You only have to be wrong once. Rachel, say your prayers and go to sleep. Father, thank you for sparing me today. And save us all from the pack of thieves and murderers who are waiting for us to close our eyes so they can cut our throats under the cover of darkness. Amen. Okay for a sardine. <laughs> Forget about a raise the allowance. What you guys need is a larger room. <laughs> well, it's not usually this crowded. Robert, you sure you don't mind sleeping on the floor? No, it's great. It's like going camping in my own room. Well, if you hear any bears, let me know. Bears? Never thought about that. Dad was just kidding, Robert. What if one got in here? They can climb trees, they can climb stairs. I was just kidding about the bears, Robert. You shouldn't have done that, Pop. You know, Robert has trouble going to sleep at night, especially if he's scared of something. Go to sleep, Robert. There's nothing to be afraid of. If a monster comes in here, Junior and I will beat it up. A monster? I never thought about those either. Nice going, Dad. Now we're gonna have to sing the whole farm. What? Well, see, we got the idea from Aunt Rachel. She said, whenever you're scared, sing yourself to sleep. Robert likes old McDonald. <laughs> you kidding? No, I'm not. One night he was so scared, we not only sang all the farm animals, we inventoried most of the farm equipment. Did you hear something? I thought I heard something. Well, what did it sound like? It sounded like a bear. Talking to a monster. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. Come on, Robert, let's get started. E-I-E-I-O. E -I -E -I -O. Come on, Dad, you're not singing. Look, you guys go ahead, and I I'll get some sleep between animals. Dad, <laughs> the only way we'll be safe is if the monster knows we're all singing. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, Dad. And on, on his farm, farm there was some pigs. E I E I O. Hey, Charlie, did you know a home without a burglar alarm is ten times more likely to be robbed than a home with one? Where'd you hear that? It says so right here in this pamphlet from the burglar alarm company. <laughs> Does it also mention that a home with a loud mouth aunt is ten times more likely to be the scene of a homicide? <laughs> She'll hear you. I don't care. Maybe she'll get mad enough to leave. Now, Charlie, I thought we agreed that Aunt Rachel could stay here with us. That was for one night, three nights ago. <laughs> She's already burned out two bulbs in the refrigerator. Well, Rachel can't help it. She's terrified to go back to her apartment. I don't see why the scariest thing there is a full-length mirror. Come on, Charlie. Have a little patience. She's a woman alone, and she's been through a very traumatic experience. Yeah, you're right. She shouldn't live alone. Maybe I should get her a pet. An alligator. <laughs> a starving pet alligator. <laughs> and a meat-flavored dress. Well, the dinner dishes are all done. Thanks, Rachel. What are we going to do tonight? I don't know. I was hoping we could watch you peck. Are you trying to say you wish I'd leave? What I'm saying is it was easier to get Humphrey the Whale to leave San Francisco Bay. Oh, Charlie. Can you give me my newspaper? Maybe I can read about somebody else who's been invaded. Uh, I don't think you can. What do you mean? Just what I said. A little while ago, I asked Robert to take the trash out for me, and since I'd finished the newspaper, I threw it out. What? You threw out my newspaper? 
out where you should be? My geography book? Aunt Rachel probably read it and threw it out. Goodness, if it was right under your nose, you wouldn't see it. What do you have on your eyes, girl? Aunt Rachel bought them for me. She says they make me look glamorous. Take them off. You're too young to look glamorous. Hello. Good evening, dear Aunt Rachel. Hi, baby. Are you going somewhere, Jim? Yeah, I got a date. I thought you couldn't afford a date on the allowance we give you. Well, I couldn't until Aunt Rachel gave me a raise. What? Well, he's a young man. Now, he needs some walking around money. Mm -hmm. He don't need no walking around money, Rachel, because he ain't going to be walking around. <laughs> Not tonight, anyway. This is great. Now I got to call my date back. Call Colette. <laughs> come on, come on. You're going for a walk. Get your leash. <laughs> You're going back to your apartment. My apartment. Or the zoo. Take your pick. I can't go back there alone. Well, you can't stay here with us. Well, then there's no solution. Yes, there is. Good. I knew you'd come through for me. It's so simple, I don't know why none of us thought of it before. I don't even know what it is, and I love it. <laughs> Rachel, you're going back to your apartment. Amen. And Charlie, you're going to stay there with us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> You sure you'll be all right here all alone? It's only for one night. Besides, have you noticed the size of your oldest son? Yeah, Dad, we've got each other. We'll be just fine. Don't worry about it, Dad. I'll take good care of him. Yeah. Okay, let's get this over with. Thank you so much, Diana, for letting me stay. And thank you for the loan of your husband. I don't know how I'll ever be able to repay you. Easy. Migrate north with the herd. <laughs> Look, uh... While I'm gone, don't open the door for anybody. We won't. Keep the windows locked, too. Okay. Okay. And put the number of the police department by every phone and keep the, the first aid kit out in the open. We'll be just fine. Now go before it gets any later. And don't forget the National Guard can be mobilized in 15 minutes. Good night, Charlie. <laughs> don't forget to bolt the door, Mom. All right, okay. Yes, go ahead. Mm. I'm scared. Oh, that's just silly. Everything's just as it was. Except Daddy's not here. Besides, if anybody breaks in, there's four of us and only one of them. Mm -hmm. Someone breaks in? I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, McDonald. <laughs> Welcome to my home. This is terrible. No wonder you were afraid to come back here. What a mess. The burglar came in the bedroom. He didn't touch anything in here. Oh, oh. You know, Rachel, few women would have done this to one of their ex-husbands. Charles, if you don't like it here, we can always go back to your house. Well, there's much to be said for clutter. It gives the place a homey touch. You can put your pillow and your blanket down on the couch. So that's where you sleep. I guess this opens out into a bed, huh? Of course not. This is a Gugulian. This is his last creation. I know why he stopped. He must have shot him. <laughs> I'll have you know I had this shipped halfway around the world. Yeah, well, if you want to ship it the rest of the way, I'm willing to chip in. <laughs> I don't know why I even bother to try to talk to you. I'm going to bed. Yeah, well, I'll go over here and study the tomb of the unknown husbands. <laughs> so what if I've been married a few times? A few times? You've had more rings than Saturn. <laughs> I'll have you know that I treasure every one of these wedding pictures. Even if I can't put a name with each face. <laughs> yeah, well, why you stand here and play name that groom? I'm going to try to get some sleep. I guess I will, too. Charles? Yes, Rachel? Just for the record, I am glad you're here. Well, that makes one of us. 
Good night, Wendell, baby. <laughs> Well, a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck, quack, quack here, quack, quack there. Here a quack, there a cluck, everywhere a quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Robert, are you sleepy yet? I am. Can I please go to bed now? No, the only way we'll be safe is if the monster knows we're all in the same room. <laughs> but, Robert, we're not all in the same room when Daddy's here and we're always safe. That's because Daddy's here. <laughs> but what about the mothers and children who stay alone every night? God watches over them. He has them on a special list. Then don't you imagine he's watching over us? No, God thinks Daddy's here. We're not on that list. <laughs> okay, enough. Now, we all have work and school tomorrow. Now, we got to put all this robbery business behind us and go to bed. Yeah, Mom is right. Besides, the chances of us being robbed are, are one in a million. Actually, according to the burglar alarm company, they're one in a thousand. <laughs> I know that makes me feel better. <laughs> Look, why don't I make hot chocolate for everybody? That should make us all very sleepy. Yeah, I know. As long as we're up, why don't we tell ghost stories? Ghost? I never thought of those. Oh, oh MacDonald had a fun. E-I-E-I-O. Take whatever you want. Just don't touch my precious body. You gotta be kidding. What are you doing crashing around in the middle of the night? Don't you know my nerves are bad? Well, it matches your taste in furniture. <laughs> Don't start with me, Charles. I've had just about all I can stand for one night, and I need my beauty sleep. Well, if that's the best you're gonna look, you might as well stay up. <laughs> well, you can just be as insulting as you want to be. I spent my last minute alone in that bedroom. I'm gonna sit right here till it's daybreak. Well, what am I supposed to do? Go to sleep. I'll be quiet as a mouse. You won't even know I'm here. Good night, Charles. What's left of it? How great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior, the Lord. How great thou art! How great! How great! How great! How great thou art! That's it. I'm leaving. Charles, what are you doing? You don't need me, Rachel. You need the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> but what would I do if somebody breaks in here? How will I defend myself? Sing, Rachel, sing. <laughs> I'll have you know that when I sang in the choir, people came from hundreds of miles around just to hear me. Don't kid yourself, Rachel. Those people were following their pigs. <laughs> You're right, Charles. You should go. Go? Go is in go-go? Yes, your coming here was not a good idea. And you have your own family to think of. I'm a woman alone. And the price I pay for this beautiful freedom is loneliness and fear. The sooner I recognize that, the better off I'll be. Oh, come on, Rachel, don't do that. Do what? Act human. <laughs> no, I can't take it. Well, I'm sorry if I bothered you. Well, I, I guess that's what relatives are for. I just feel so helpless, Charles. Well, Rachel, this is your home, and you've had an unfortunate experience here. And unless you plan on moving, you're going to have to get used to living here alone again. I don't know if I can. Well, would it help if I stayed till in the morning? Would you please, Charles? Well, on one condition. Hmm. Promise me you won't sing. 
<laughs> well, you better get some rest. It's almost morning. Good night, Charles. Good night, Rachel. You know, Charles? Yes, Rachel? You're not such a bad guy. Thank you, Rachel. Sometimes I'm actually glad that Diana didn't take my advice and marry Denny Mitchell. <laughs> Denny Mitchell? Who's Denny Mitchell? Didn't Diana tell you? She was going with him when she met you. This is the first time I ever heard about Denny Mitchell. Well, it's not important. Oh, okay. Fine looking man he was. <laughs> and rich, too. <laughs> oh, why didn't she marry him? I'm not sure. Maybe she just didn't want to live in San Francisco. He has a mansion there, you know. A mansion? And a yacht. And the cutest little airplane you ever did see. Rachel, would you do me a favor? Hmm. Sing. Charlie and company will be back in a moment. Anybody want anything else? I just want more sleep. What are you complaining about? You're not the one who had to sleep in his own bed for four nights? I've E-I-E-I-O'd myself hoarse. <laughs> I think it's from McDonald's throat. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'd have been fine if Dad was here. You miss me, huh, little buddy? You bet. We all did. I guess you never realize how much a part of your security someone is until they're gone. Really? Come here. Sweetheart. What? Who's Denny Mitchell? <laughs> Who told you about him? Rachel. And when did you start listening to her? Well, she started talking about mansions in San Francisco. Oh, well, you know how Rachel exaggerates everything. Even about that diamond ring he gave you? A man gave you a diamond ring? Ooh-wee, nice going, Mom. Why didn't you marry him? <laughs> because I fell in love with your father. And he means more to me than all the diamonds in the world. Oh, Hello, my beloved family. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Charles. I've come to share with you the greatest news I've ever had. You're moving to New Zealand. I am never going back to my apartment again, and I owe it all to you, Charles. Why? Really? You said something the other night that made a lot of sense. You said I couldn't stay there because I'd had a bad experience. You remember that? I do. Well, you'll be glad to know that for once in my life, I took your advice, and I've just signed the lease on a wonderful new apartment. How exciting. <laughs> when do you move? Tomorrow. I couldn't wait another day. All right. Exactly where is this new Southside Taj Mahal located? That's the best part. One floor down. Oh! Reluctant witness fears for her life and reputation on T.J. Hooker. Then Carl Malden and Ricardo Montalban star in Rudyard Kipling's Captain Courageous. All on CBS Late Night. First, Hawk infiltrates a murderous underworld in a sting operation on Airwolf next.